so in the series of building ai agents this is the fifth video in which we are going to use claude model opus 4.1 and that will make our n8 and automation seamless and you can build it from scratch if you don't have any coding knowledge as well this model is super powerful and have been very very helpful and we'll be building an agent that will extract top reddit post from a subreddit and it will then give it to chat gpt which will extract some important details and then it will give us suggestions and these triggers will be automatically sent to a slack message in a slack group and this entire automation is something that we'll try out to build using claude model and this is video 5 in the series of building ai agents if you're new to this channel make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to this channel for more such amazing videos coming ahead so as you can see i am using claude and we'll be using claude opus 4.1 model that's the most powerful model if you are looking forward to code and we'll be trying to build a project majorly this comes with a paid plan you might need a paid plan uh, and you can start with it if we'll go to the project sections here so you click on projects uh, there's so many projects that i've created before let's click on a new project what project you're working on let's say uh, na10 uh, workflow reddit so we'll do something with reddit right and uh, that's that's the uh, project name what are you trying to achieve extract reddit tweets that are most widely used so now this cloud will help us build our n8 and workflow from the scratch let's create this project once you create this project now uh, this is the screen that you'll see in front of you and here is a part where you have instructions instructions basically you need to give us give a system prompt so that uh, your project can be trained upon that specific data now if you go to the website of n8 uh this is this is the website of n8 and there are so many docs so docs suggest and tell you how to create n8 and workflow right so i've created a pdf that contains all these docs so that we can train our uh, project for specific documents to n8 and so basically we'll be giving this system prompt to our uh, project so system prompt would look something like this i'll give this prompt also in the description below you are an expert in n8 and automation software using n8 and mcp tools your role is to design build and validate n8 and workflows maybe we can cut this uh, n8 and mcp tools we are just not using mcp this time but maybe in the next video i'll tell you about how can you build your own mcp wherein you can interconnect your n8 and and your cloud model and you can just directly use the n8 and via cloud so that you create a workflow here it will be automatically represented there so we're not doing that we are doing a, a normal prompt so i'll give this prompt in the description you save these instructions right and we'll uh, see how uh, so here in the files also we'll add some files so installation guide for n8 and is there uh, that tells you about how to build workflows in n8 and i'll give the link to both in the description below now let's type the prompt right and here you can select the model so we are using claude opus 4.1 that's the latest model uh will we need a an automation create an automation to scrape the reddit subreddit r slash n8 10 for top posts in the last seven days then use chat gpt to identify any interesting and unique automation builds that automation builds then create suggestions how we can enhance the builds how we can enhance the builds so this is something that we are going to do uh, and this cloud is going to help us with the same workflow let's click let's we have selected the cloud opus 4.1 and we'll click on uh, next so now you'll see what this project will give us so it's thinking it's able to create an n8 and workflow that scrapes the uh, reddit top post from the reddit from the last seven days and analyzes them with chat gpt to identify in interesting workflow automation so it's asking me should i uh, proceed with creating the complete json workflow with you what it will be doing is it will schedule the there will be scheduled execution reddit integration then date filtering last seven days we want ai analysis like chat gpt it will give it to so that it identifies the automation builds that are mentioned in the post enhancement suggestions generated by ai and formatted output so this is the flow of this particular architecture uh, i'll just give a yes 
then we'll see it will be creating a json file for us that will look like uh, that will be our workflow right so this is the json file that's getting created so this is the workflow that we will be importing in our anytime so let's see what it builds so you can see this is the json file that is being created and we can just download this uh, as json from here once it's completed i'm waiting for it to complete Otherwise, if you'll check out different models, I've tried Cursor also, Claude also, Chat GPT also, but Claude specifically, if you're using for coding, then this is the best model that has been there as per my experience. So you can see the workflow has been created already. So what this workflow does, it runs a daily to fetch top posts from uh, the subreddit, retrieves top 50 posts from the last week, filters to only include posts from the last seven days, fetches comments from each post to get additional context, first chat GPT analysis is done, then enhancement generation is done, like second chat GPT analysis is done, then reporting and output generates a comprehensive markdown report, optional integrations and setup. So it imports the workflow, we need to import the workflow, then configure our credentials, and then this would run. Right? So as we have already built in the multiple videos in the series where we have built these n workflows using these seamless integrations, and we can choose its different models, right? Once we want to uh, uh, select which and uh, like where do you want to host so the, these are the packs that you can use it on uh, nitn's website it can be self-hosted or it can be hosted on nitn hosted by nitn so if it's hosted by nitn you need to pay 20 dollar per month that's very huge as i've already told you right i've been using hostinger to host my nitn workflows and it is very seamless and the cost is very very effective right? so this is hostinger self-hosted nitn and you can get up to 69 percent off their monsoon sale is on right now with the maximum discount that is possible uh, right and also i'll share a specific coupon code that can get you even more discounts on the same so there are multiple kvms kvm 1 2 kvm 4 or kvm 8 let's choose kvm 2 uh, i think this is suitable for the kind of work that we want to do and you can see uh, if it's for the period of 24 months it's for one month 12 months or 24 months right for 24 months it is going to be around 499 rupees per month that's super cheap as compared to uh, nitn's version also, if you select for let's say 12 months, then the amount increases a bit, but you can put in a coupon code. If you uh, enter the coupon code Arsh Goel, you will get an additional 15% off. So it comes out to be 7,000 rupees for one year. If you will do uh, let's say 24 months, then it, this coupon code will get you get you this uh, NITN, self-hosted NITN for 10,778 for 24 months. So this is super cheap and they have specific uh, nodes, specific NITN version. So these are the applications that you can host directly. If you are looking forward to self-host NITN, then hosting is the best platform. Check out the link in the description and you can get all the details. Also make sure you use coupon code ARSHQL to get complete benefits. Now, after you have set up your NITN, right? So it would look something like this. You can create a new workflow. So this is the whole workflow space that is there in front of you and we have this reddit uh, uh, automation workflow that we have created now we'll create a json file we'll download that json and we'll import that json in our editor so we'll download it right and uh, this is our workflow and we'll try to import from file once we'll import from file so we have this uh, reddit editor uh, workflow that was created so this is the workflow it created first there was a weekly schedule then it was getting the reddit post like top 50 reddit posts then uh, it was filtering those automation posts then chat gpt was uh, analyzing those posts it was parsing the ai analysis again there was second chat gpt enhancement generator then we are merging those enhancement results and uh, then it was sent to slack so now we need to send this to slack so we'll configure our slack as well uh, so on my slack so let's say you create a create an app on slack and in that app this result is automatically sent like you can see the message with top five posts or top seven posts that can be extracted from reddit and that are most useful and it will give you feedbacks on how can you improvise that so now let's so these are the nodes that we need to configure i need to connect my reddit account so i already have my reddit account here i'll just try and see if uh so yeah this is connected reddit is connected i'll connect my open ai account as well uh, this is also connected uh, open a account 
again to be connected if you're not aware of how to connect these there's complete documentation of n and you can go and search and uh, you will learn how to configure all these you just need to get a client id you just need to get uh, uh, the secret key for reddit uh, you need to set up a reddit account and then then it's very easy right and similarly slack so i already have my slack account also uh, on so this is a slack account that's connected so now everything is done so there will be a slack that i'll open the slack that i'm currently working on so this is the slack that i would be turning it on i'll use it in browser and here you can see right so this is slack mode and we have n it and workflow this, this is the channel that we have and it will be sending all the output results once we schedule a trigger so let's try and schedule a trigger and see if claude was able to make this workflow correctly or if there's some mistake and we, we need to improve upon it so this is the workflow i'll try to execute this workflow once i click on execute workflow let's see what happens so it's running get reddit post filter automation post ai analysis identify tool parse AI analysis it's going to ai enhancement generator merging the results formatting slack message sent to uh, slack so now it's sent to slack so you can see the message has been sent it has been able to get the automation scanner results uh, found three potential automation builds with business enhancement opportunities automating social media posts with nit and it gave the entire details business enhancement ideas enterprise features revenue opportunities implementation priority and much more so you can see different things that are available for uh, the kind of prompt that we gave and the kind of work that we wanted our n and agent to do. Now this n and agent we can schedule, we can schedule a weekly trigger or we can schedule a, a daily trigger or an hourly trigger and it will do the same. So this is how Claude was able to help us build our entire n and workflow. That too very seamlessly and we were able to get the final results that too in our Slack room. So that was it for this particular video. If you are looking forward to build NIT and workflows, I'm creating a series on this channel. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to this channel for more such amazing videos coming ahead. Also make sure you do check out Hostinger to self host NIT and the link and details are in the description. You can use my code ARSCOEL to get an additional 15% discount on the same. Thank you so much. All the best. Good luck and bye.